It's actually quite simple and on a Mac you just need to use Keynote. I definitely recommend getting it if you don't have it already. It's very affordable and trust me you will use it all of the time. So this is what it looks like when you first open it. You want to go to document and you want to see where it says slide size and you want to change this to custom slide size and you want to type in 1350 by 760 because those are the dimensions for in video animations then automatically you want to go in and you want to add your background I, I don't know why I always like to go to format first and change it to color fill and then make it white I don't know I feel like it just like has a blank slate for myself um, so then you want to go ahead in and add your picture. So to do that, you want to either drag it in. So you can go to your finder and um, you can find a background that you want to use. Sorry, my voice keeps cracking. So say you just want to use something like this for your end slate. So you would just add in your background. Um, so this is what I'm going to use. You guys could use whatever you want. Just make sure that it is either made by you or it is a copyright free item that you have permission to use or you could legally get in trouble. Chances are slim, but I just wanted to warn you guys. Um, so next, you kind of have to figure out what design you want to do. So I usually like to start with where my um, previous video is going to go. Um, now, if you guys feel like it, you could have it so it's like a link. So you would have to actually add in your video in iMovie or Final Cut Pro or whatever you use, which I'll show you how to do. Um, but just add in your video. Um, so you want to add like a little slate. And do something like that. I'm going to do a line border. So that's kind of like a double um, border, I guess. And you can do whatever back, like whatever color you want. I think I'm gonna just stay with black. I think it looks nice. You could change it to be dotted, whatever you want. Um, and then I'm also going to go ahead in and kind of a fade. I'm gonna get rid of this drop shadow. But yeah, so there you go. So that's where you would have your video. So then I'm gonna add and add in a um, my social media. So I'm going to go ahead to Finder, and I have some social media saved. And just make sure you're not animating these. If you guys didn't know, a lot of social media um, don't actually let you animate their logo or change the color or anything. So make sure you're using the newest logos, um, or you could get potentially in trouble. So you don't want that. So just kind of try your best to line them up. I know it's kind of hard. It does work best when they are PNG images, which means that the background is just uh, clear. So I like to have my social media nice and big. So you want to go ahead in and add your text and just type in your social media. And of course, you guys could do whatever kind of design that floats your boat. Just make sure everything is nice and easy to read. It's going to go far. Okay, and then... Do the same thing for all of these. Let's see, I like to do usually the same size. So this is 79, so you can change that right there to 79. So everything is nice and lined up and everything like that. And if you guys have like the same username for all of these, I don't, but if you did, that's probably more professional anyways, but you could actually have like all of them together and then just your name. So these kind of like blend into the background a little bit too much. I'm going to go to shape and just click on square and you guys can kind of choose whatever style you want, but just go to style. I'm going to go to color fill. And I think I'm going to go with some bright colors, no drop shadow, and then click send to back, and then send your background to the back. Okay. This is a little bit too light, so I'm going to try to go and find a different color for this. And again, all of this is all about... Um, trial and error so don't be upset with yourself if it takes you a while to make one of these or if you mess up so yeah. 
and that just helps it kind of stand out a little bit more from the background. Another thing you guys could do is if you wanted to have a little bit more of a classic feel, you can make it black or white or vice versa. Um, and then I'm just going to duplicate this. Oops, that's the wrong thing. Just so everything is about the same height and then you could just adjust. Oopsie. You could just adjust how long it's going to be. Oops, I keep doing that. <laughs> Uh, duplicate and then make it as long as you need it and then you could always make these a little bit more compact too like this that's really what you're into there you go and then I want to do like a little bit of a custom thing where I have like a doodle that says check out my last video. So to do that, you could go into, uh, well, we could do pick monkey. And you want to go to design and just keep, choose square. And what's really important is make sure this is transparent and click apply. Then go to the effects tool and scroll down until you see draw. Right here and this is where you would choose whatever color you want so you want to make sure to look at this and see what color would look best I think I'm just gonna go with black so you make it the color you want it and decrease the brush size and then just kind of look at what would look best so something kind of like this so you can make it as big as you want or as small as you want so I like to usually do it pretty big And I don't like that. You just kind of have to. All right, that'll work. Click save and save it as whatever you would like. And then go back into Keynote. And then you could drag and drop that in and then resize it. So I think it's kind of like a cool little personal touch in of course, you guys don't have to do any of these. This is just kind of like ideas and such. Oopsie. But I just think it's a cool little bit of uh, touch anyway. So I'm going to go add another text and say, like, check out my last video. Or like, click here to check out my videos. Something like that. And again, I like to keep it the same font. And then we're going to change this. Okay, and then for this one, I'm actually going to change this color to be black. And then I'm going to add a background that's white. Just so, I don't know, I just think it looks really nice and classic. And uh, it kind of brings in everything together in my opinion. And of course, like I said, you guys can customize everything here. You don't have to have anything the same as me. Um, this is just kind of going to show you guys how to kind of come up with a cool end slate. And uh, how to implement it. So I'm sorry if this is like a super long video. But I really just wanted to be thorough with it. Okay. So then you have this with the little arrow. And then what you could do is add a subscribe button. So to find a subscribe button, you just touch subscribe button YouTube PNG. And you're going to come up with a subscribe button. And you guys could choose whichever one you want. Just make sure whatever it is is transparent. Um, another thing you guys could do is go to search tools and go to usage rate and labeled for reuse. And see if you have anything in there, which we don't. Um, let's see if we can use YouTube subscribe but button. Let 
Let's see if we can find one that we're allowed to use. Um, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, this is all website stuff, but. Hmm. Okay, well. Boom. Looks like we're just going to have to make our own. I don't want to get into any legal trouble. So to do that, I'm just going to go to shape and I'm going to go here. And we'll just make our own kind of similar one. And let's do a gradient. I think that would be pretty cool. So we can do whichever colors we would like. Um, let's do purple. Or no, let's do pink. And then into yellow, and then no shadow. I'll do a border, I'll do a white line, solid, smaller. And then you could go in and add your text and put subscribe. And then make it as big as you need it. And then I'm going to leave some space over here to put the YouTube um, play button logo, which you can just look at YouTube logo use. And there's information about how to use it and stuff like that. And um, there's a downloads page. And for us, I think we're going to go with the light icon and just download it as a PNG. And then you could go ahead in and add that in and just resize it so there you made your little subscribe button um, and again if you wanted to change your the yellow maybe it doesn't look that great we can try to test out there we go that looks pretty cool some other options so now we have our subscribe button Click here to check out my videos and then our social media. So that's kind of how you uh, come up with a um, end slate in Keynote and check out my next video to be able to animate it. Okay, guys. Bye.